Today I read, Magic Tree has seven sunset on the saber tooth by Mary Pop Osborne. Chapter nine, Master of the Animals. The saber tooth cried forward. Jack stared honor. Play the play the fruit," whispered Jack. Any is she not? Jack thought. Try," says Any. Jack held the mammoth bone flute to his lips. He blew. The flute made a strange sound. The tiger froze. He glared at Jack. Jack turned his head. The tiger growled. He took another step. The mammoth roared and stomped the ground. "Play it," says Annie. "Keep playing." Jack blew again. The saber tooth froze again. Jack kept blowing until he ran out of breath. The tiger snarled. "He's still here," whispered Danny. "Keep it up." Jack closed his eyes. He took a deep breath. Then he blew as hard as. And as long as he could, he covered and uncovered the holes on the bone. The music sounded strange, as if it were coming from another world. "Hey, living!" Annie whispered. Jack raised his eyes. The saber tooth was singing of. Towered at the cliffs, we did it," says Annie. Jack lowered the flute. She felt very tired. The mammoth waved her trunk happily to the tree. Has Lulu," says Annie. The woolly mammoth snored. Then she lumbered. Over to the tallest tree, from the back of the mammoth, Jack grabbed the rope ladder. He held it from Annie. She struck the mammoth giant ear. "Bye, Lulu. Thanks, you," says she. Said Annie grabbed the rope ladder. Then she. Third up, peanut climbed up too. After they dis- disappeared into the tree house, Jack climbed on the ladder. He looked back at the woodly mammoth. "Bye, girl," he said. "Go home now, and watch out of the saber tooth." The mammoth walked away. Into the sunset. When Jack couldn't see her anymore, he stirred up the rope ladder. He pulled him into the treehouse. Tada! Says Eddie. She handed the Pennsylvania book to Jack. Jack smiled. Now he was troubled. Then he had found the third ending. Their mission was complete. Before we leave, we have to give our coat back," says Annie. "All right," says Jack. They took off reindeer skin coat and dropped them to the ground. Brr. Says Annie, "I hope 
the Cro-Magnons, people hop them. Jack stares out the window. He wants to take one last look at the Predation world. The sun was setting behind the hills. Four people were crossing the snowy plain. It was the Cro-Magnon family. Hey! Shout Annie. Shh! Said Jack. The Cro-Magnon stopped and peered in Annie and Jack's direction. We left the reindeer skins down there. Annie pointed to the ground. The tallest person stepped for forward and. Rained a spear. Time to go," said Jack. He grabbed a Pennsylvania book. He found the picture of Frog Creek and pointed at it. "I wish we could go home," he said. "Goodbye, good luck," Annie called, waving out the window. The windows start to blow, and the tree house start to spin. It spins faster and faster. Then, after till everything was still, absolutely still. Thank you for listening.